Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my heavenly babies. Look who I have in my arms, little Miss Holly. Holly found a new mommy right on New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day. It was after midnight, so it would be considered New Year's Day. Um, she found a mommy. That's when she was purchased. And the new mommy is Carolyn. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, I'll throw it up on the screen. She does watch my YouTube videos. Uh, she does not have a channel. And I'm not even sure she comments. So I don't know her username, but it's Carolyn. So congratulations. Let's all congratulate Carolyn on her new purchase, her new baby. Oh, she is so phenomenal. This is the first time I've ever held her in my arms. She's heavy, you guys. Definitely a newborn size baby. She holds so well. And I just wanted to show you guys, you know, just one last video of her going home. I like to show videos on that. And her little mitts are wanting to fall off. Um, we could just pop them off while we're doing the video here. But anyways, look at her. Look at how she scrunches and look at how floppy she is. How far back her head goes, I am holding, as you see, but she just, she scrunches good and she goes back good. She's very, very floppy, very beautiful, very squishy too. Yes, she's going to be missed around here, but these are babies I buy to paint and sell. And she is phenomenal. She was the first one I did. I'm very pristine. I just did all your basic um, not really a basic art, but I guess you could call it a basic art. Um, but that's not, you know, on silicone babies, you only add so much paint to them. I just mean, I didn't do a scratch or the milk bumps or, um, uh, like, um, what am I trying to say? Freckles or, um, like a stork bite or a mole or birthmarks or blemishes. She just has the mottling, which is done within her blushing. So very light mottling. She has veining, she has the creases done, her lips done, the inside of her mouth, um, of course, um, the creases in the eyes and all of that, her nails and her toes done uh, with the tips and the beds, and um, she's got the wetness in all the right areas, so in the eye, in the creases of the eye, in the mouth, in the nose, going down the nose, in the ears, but you can see she's just pristine, you guys, absolutely pristine. But you can see those beautiful veining. I hope you can see that. Let's lift up her headband here. We'll take it off. She's a baldy. But you see she's got the great veining in there and the veining on the sides, on the top. I did the bluing on the top of the head there. Hard to really see in the video. When she gets her in person, she's just going to love her. And she is so soft. Probably one of the softest seals I've done. I don't know why. Some of these silicone babies take to the seal even better, um, get even softer. So she is incredibly velvety soft. Thus its name, silicone velvet. That's what I sealed her with. And you can see she's known for that thumb. It's twin A full body silicone. And you see those beautiful nails. Look at her nails and all the red in there. She's so gorgeous. All the creases, a little bit of blushing on the back of the elbow, a little bit of blushing on the knees. Let's go ahead and show her little socks or her socks, her little feet. Let's show her little feet and toes. Look at that. And she had a lot of creases I could really work with. Like she's very realistic. Look at that. All the creases are little fat rolls. And my favorite part on her is that little roll under that belly. Um, I've already showed in the video. I did before and after photos of her. But I'll do one right now. I'll stick it up on the screen. And then I'm just going to show you. Um, I'll stick it up on the screen quick first. The before and after of that fat roll. Look at that beautiful. Don't worry, I'm holding her head, honey. Um, look at the veining, that beautiful belly button, but that fat roll. Look at that. My other baby didn't have it like that. I love that about her. Look at her chest cakes. Yes, she's so pretty. And we'll show you the back of her. Look at that. She is just absolutely pristine. There's that little butt. Yeah, we got to show it the butt. So pretty, but she is. She's just so velvety soft. I can't wait for you to feel one of my babies. You're just going to be blown away. I get re reoccurring customers um, because of that. And um, my last baby that I did uh, for a custom that I did, Luca, if you remember, um, his mommy, uh, Annette, opened him up on Christmas Eve. She held him under that Christmas tree. I don't know how she did it for about two and a half weeks, I think it was, or three weeks. But when she opened him, here she is holding him, uh, also giving him his first bath and a changing and all that. The family was just blown away. They're like, this looks like a high-end baby. 
And I'm just, you know, it just makes me feel so good inside that I can bring that much joy to somebody. She had already bought um, a baby through me. The baby was Goldie. I'll throw it up on the screen. Uh, that was a few months back and she named her Angel. And then Luca, she named Luca on her own. That was a custom uh, biracial baby I did for her. But that's Annette holding Luca and she was so happy. The whole family was just blown away. Her husband and her daughters were telling her that that does not look like a budget baby. That looks like a high end. And I love when I hear people say, I help curve the appetite of a high-end silicone baby. And these babies are phenomenal. Look at how realistic she looks in my arms. And look at that flappiness. I mean, silicone is going to be your most uh, realistic feel and everything. She's got the beautiful painted eyebrows. And then she's got really pretty uh, rooted eyelashes. Very light. And it is a brown. Believe it or not, it almost looks like it's a red, but it is a red brown. So it's more of a... um. Auburn, I would say an Auburn, more to the orange Auburn color, but look at her. Isn't she pretty? She's all yours, Caroline. She's all yours. Oh, she's so beautiful. I love the indents on the uh, twin A, the indents, and that's where I uh, emphasize more of the veining. You'll see that when you get her, uh, but it is more blue in that area, bluing in that area, and then, of course, that um, across the head where it has that separation, like when a baby, the skull separation there, but she is a beaut. She is so pretty. She is. She's excited to meet her new mommy. So we're going to go over and I'm going to quickly show you. I'm trying not to make this video too long. My hair is in the way. Um, but we're going to do um, just show you quick everything. Of course, you know, she'll be within the little gray sock. She was wearing the mitts. And then she's going to have on. Let me show you all that comes with. She's going to have on the gray hat just to protect her little head. And then I will have a diaper on her as well. And I'll probably pop the little flower around. If I don't, that will be in the package. But she's going to go with the onesie and the gray theme for her. And she will have her gray lovey. She's got a brand new lovey that goes with her. It's so soft and so cute. Her lovey that goes with her. Yeah, she loves her lovey. Yeah, and I do believe, um, if I didn't say it already, I do believe the mother's going to keep the name Holly. She likes that name. Uh, this will be the diaper that will go on her face to protect her face. She will come with... She wears newborn size. She'll come with two newborn diapers. And these are, ooh, uh, what is the brand? I believe it's Loves. And it's got the little, um, I can't remember that show. I don't remember that show. I'll stick it up on the screen what it is. But two diapers, plus she has a diaper on. She will come with a sealed bottle that I made for her. And I'm going to show you, because um, I know this, I do believe this comes off. I'm going to show you... Um, I don't think you'll mind, honey. I'm just going to pop off this little, little tag came out. It was, brand, you know, everything's brand new, but I, I took it apart because I made the bottle. But I think it does open. I'm trying to figure out if it does. Yeah, I didn't seal that part. So when it gets icky and gunky or whatever, and it lasts a good year, if it start to see the separation, just shake it up. But it's a fake formula bottle. It does not have to be refrigerated. You see the tip? It is sealed off. So you can go ahead and do a feeding. Let's go ahead and give Holly a feeding Look at how real she looks, guys. Oh, she's so pretty. She definitely is a beautiful baby, being so pristine. I'm an artist, and I love the art. Um, it, it's almost hard for me to resist from when I was doing this, from re, you know, resist, resisting of doing some kind of art. But I thought, no, I want to do a pristine baby. I just want to see what a pristine baby looks like with all the bells and whistles of everything it needs, but not any of the extra added art. And she's just gorgeous. Look at her feeding. Look at her. Yeah, she's hungry. Yeah, we got to make sure we feed her before we get her all boxed up. Yeah, she's pretty. And I always kiss all my babies before they go because they are my whole heart and, of course, my art. So you're getting a piece of my art and heart. When I do them, I put everything into my babies um, and, you know, just love it. She is the last one to go at the price she's going at, which was four twenty five dollars shipped. Um, the rest of my babies now are going to be around 100 to um, $200 more. So my babies were selling between four and four fifty, dollars so they're going to be five to 600 If you get a baby that's any more than that, like around seven, that's going to be one of the larger ones. I do have somebody that's interested in me doing a 23-inch baby um, with, um, and I don't think it'll have rooted hair on that one. Um, so that one would be more like a six fifty dollars uh, with uh, shipping, so six seventy five. dollars But, or no, that one was 600 I think I said 600 And then with, if it wa if that person wanted hair, it would definitely be a $700 baby, um, maybe even seven fifty with the rooting. Because I do charge one fifty for the rooting when it's included in the paint job. A little bit more if it's just a rooting job. But, uh, I, you know, just 
That would be the absolute most would be a $750 baby, but that would be a big one. My babies are going to be between five and 600, roughly right around there. Um, most of them are newborn size babies. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go up because I'm not really making anything off these babies. Um, I just wanted to get no one, you know, on my channel and all of that and let people know that I'm legit. I know people get afraid, but I couldn't have this channel and I've already sold 30 babies. Believe me, somebody would have reported me and I would have gotten taken down. So please don't be afraid to get a baby through me. I am legit. Um, and I just, I, you got to You got to read what the people are saying. You know, it's just curving their appetite for a high end. It's so expensive to buy silicones and you're going to get a really great silicone with this. You are. It's phenomenal. It is a budget, but it's you'll never, ever notice that. Like Annette said, you can't even tell that it is a budget baby. But yeah, I do got to go up a little bit because people don't realize my time that goes into these babies. It's like 50 to 80 hours long, even longer if I'm rooting even a, a bigger head baby. Um, all the supplies, and it's not just the paint and the seal. It's the paint, the seal, the brushes, the sponges, the gloves, the powder brushes. About every third one that I powdered, you know, to seal them, I have to buy another one. The makeup brushes, they're not cheap, you guys. Um, the I, I'm always having to buy new brushes, like I said. Um, let's see, what are the other things? All the stuff that comes with the babies that I buy that go with the babies. Always having to keep, you know, up on the supplies and all that. Diapers are not cheap to, you know, to buy, to send with the babies, put on the baby, to send with the baby. Um, my seals are expensive, very expensive. I double seal them, you know, and all of that. So in the end with my hour and my time and everything that goes into the baby and all of that, I'm not, I wasn't making anything, really just pennies. I'd like to make just a little bit. I'm not trying to take anybody to the bank, but I want to make a little bit, and it's still going to be a budget. A five to $600 full body silicone done with a double seal, like over a $50 box opening with it. And I, you know, take love and joy and pride in each baby I do. It really isn't that much more um, that I'm going up. Um, I see these babies, you guys, and I'm noticing now people are telling me that bought babies through me. They're looking on Etsy and they're like, isn't that... That's babies you've sold, and they're asking eight to a thousand, and it's not even painted. It's just the factory paint. They're throwing a little bit of baby powder on it, a couple of outfits, like a onesie and an outfit, and they're you know a blanket, and that's it. And they're asking eight to a thousand, and they're getting it. So, and the people are loving it. You got to read the comments. Go on Etsy and just look at some of the babies I've done. Just look at the silicone babies, and you're going to see ones that I've fully painted and sold. And they're asking more and read the comments. People love them. They love them even unpainted. They love them. So you can imagine getting a fully painted baby that's going to last. People will tell you my seals do last. You're not going to get a baby that's going to be shiny that you paid $3,000 for. And that same day it's got shiny spots or two days later it's shining up and you got to powder it. Anything that you're going to powder over and over and over, you're going to ruin the paint, the seal, everything. So my babies don't have to be powdered. You could put baby powder on them to make them smell good. Just kind of pounce it on maybe some in the diaper. Uh, but all my babies will come inside the diaper with one of those uh, wafer, they're called the um, what it, wonder wafers uh, that they put in the vinyl babies and the bodies. I'm going to be putting it into the diaper, but sealed in the diaper into the, you know, the actual diaper so it doesn't touch the baby, but it'll smell like a newborn baby when you get it. Uh, even for a silicone, I do that. Those are expensive to get those wafers. Um, you know, it just goes on and on what I do. Plus now I'm doing sealed off bottles. So you're even getting that. You're even getting that. And I got to buy the supplies to do that. So, but there you go. Look at it. Didn't leak nothing. She got to have a feeding. So she's ready to be wrapped up and everything. Let me finish showing you everything. So then you'll get the baby powder. And like I said, that doesn't have to, you don't have to powder them. Just pounce it on if you like the smell. A baby towel for the bath. A bib with the rainbow on it. You got a burp cloth here. Everything is new. I just... So they come in like packs of two, so I just take them apart. The washcloth with the pink and the pink bow on it, that goes with her. Um, her little uh, teething, I would say chew toy. She's not a dog. Uh, teething ring, the Elmo. You'll get baby wipes for fun, for changing a baby. You will get baby wash. That's a total baby wash to wash the baby from head to toe. If it had hair, it could be used for the hair. Um, you'll get, where is your nookie? Where is your nookie? I hope it's in this big. Yep. You'll get the nook. And I might cut the little end off because it does go into her mouth perfectly. But I'm going to show you how it just kind of sticks out a little bit. I don't mind that like on mine um, sticking out. Um, but see how it sticks out just a little bit? It's not a lot. So I won't cut this one. But if you want to cut it, you can cut the end of it just so that it fits better. But the little holes in it will work for the clip. The clip's coming with it. Her little um, uh, pacifier clip. So it can clip to her. 
And then she'll come in two outfits. She's going to come in this outfit here. Isn't that cute? It's a white sleeper with dinosaurs on it, but done for a girl. So it's got the um, soft peach or like orange and pink and blue, light blue. It's got the fold over cuffs and it has got the feet in it. There's the tag on it. And then, of course, a day outfit. And this one's so pretty. This is a really pretty pink. It's, I would say, Barbie pink. It's very beautiful. And it's a knitted outfit. And it's got um, the blue, the white, and the uh, lighter pink um, with all the colors up here at the collar. It's got the wood buttons, just fake-looking wood buttons. And then they are, um, without the feet in it, pants. And it's a cat and jack. And she comes with that. She will be wrapped up in this beautiful blanket here, which is really soft and nice. It's got the rainbows on it. It's beautiful. This was bought at Walmart. She'll be wrapped in that blanket with the stuff on her face, hands, and feet to protect her. But here is your baby. And I didn't mean to make this video so long. It's already 20 minutes long. But I just wanted to talk a little bit because I'm starting a new year um, and continuing on with my babies. Let you know another one's sold. And look at how she holds. And I want to sit in front of the camera a little bit just so you can even see me too. Maybe it'll make people feel better to even see my face. I mean, now you know me even more because you see in my face. You know, um, I, my babies are legit and the prices are going to be, you know, still phenomenal at five and six hundred dollars. Uh, the next one I'm doing, I'm going to stick up on the screen right there. That is the boy version of the girl when I did that Annette bought. She bought it was Goldie. It's now Angel. She named it after me. So um, her name is Angel. I'm doing a boy version. Not sure what I'm doing with that baby, but that's the one that's going to be my next sell. And he will be. 525 shipped. That's what he's going to be right now. If I do give him hair, because he's going to be bald. If I do, he looks really cute bald. He does, you guys. And being a boy, he can wear hats. I'm um, just like her, just cute bald. If I do hair, then he will be more. But right now, he's going to be 525 shipped. So a great uh, price for a big baby. He's over 19 inches and he's 8.5 pounds, a chunky monkey. Annette got the girl. If you want to know, just look her up. It is um, the A. Jeffries. I believe it is um, in, you know, the YouTube videos. If you want to look down, ask her about that baby. She'll tell you it's one of her favorite babies. Ask about it. So I'm going to do a boy version now. It is anatomically correct. So it does have the little boy bits. And yeah, he's a cutie. And I'm going to give him glass eyes and all of that. So he'll have real glass eyes. And I'm not sure what color or what I'm going to do for his painting. But he's on his way. He'll be here in just a couple days. So hopefully next week, he'll be up for sale another one. So if you're interested in that and a good size newborn baby, a chunky, let me know. But Carolyn, here is your beautiful Holly getting ready to come home. I will be shipping her between the 13th and the 14th because um, she said if I couldn't get her to her by Friday, which I would have had to ship Tuesday, um, which I'm doing this video today. Today is Tuesday the uh, 2nd. I would have had to have done it late in the evening, like right before the close because my husband, you know, I had to wait to get home. I only had the one car. I don't think it would have got to her by Friday. She's going on vacation and I didn't, she didn't want it to sit in the mail. So I want it to be there when she gets back around the 17th. So I'm going to ship her honey around the 13th to 14th and you should have her when you get home. I'll send you the tracking in the email and all of that so you can watch her tracking. I'll watch the tracking too. I love to watch the tracking of the babies to make sure they make it home to their mommies as well or daddies, whoever wants them. But yes, Holly's leaving. So Holly's going to wave goodbye. She's going to blow everyone a kiss because she won't be on anymore. Mwah. I love you guys as well. Mwah. Caroline, congratulations. Your new bundle of joy is coming home and I hope you will enjoy everything. And please let me know what you think after you get her. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Thank you.